Hey, what's up everyone? Fear here with another video. Uh, today we're going to be doing a Bruce gameplay commentary and I'm going to discuss my strategy and thoughts on how to handle Bruce. So we're starting out here right now with uh, coffee and jungle boots. And um, you know, like with yesterday's video on Buck, you can just see how powerful the early game items are on a character like Bruce, um, who's generally slow, but you know, when you give him that speed, when you give him those jungle boots, the coffee all together, you really just see how powerful he can be at the start. And um, when you have max level coffee, which even for someone who's a free to play player isn't that hard to do with uh, a lot of time played, you just uh, see the power, you know, jungle boots at max level, you really have. Disengage the Duke. Um, not a fight I thought I could win, so I'm gonna grab those shields and get this. We're gonna see if we can take this Duke out here. I want to kill him earlier or sooner rather than later. Um, Duke at the end is gonna be a big pain. You get, he gets really strong. And, uh, yeah, I just wanna take him out as quick as I can. We do have the legendary, which is uh, a little extra damage, which is pretty nice. I think that's pretty important. Cool. Like we might be able to get away in these bushes and we're gonna really have to look to uh, kill somebody for a couple health kits like this ollie up here sure the Duke is close by though, which is a big problem. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna pick up this Ollie here. Oh. can get really tough on Bruce. Okay, so we got the Molly there, and we're gonna grab this health kit. Here, all right, saved. Got Nyx. Okay, that's good. Grab that health kit. Stun is coming soon. Okay. Another stun coming up. We're gonna dodge that with this barricade. Okay. There we go. Another stun coming up. We're gonna dodge that with this barricade. Okay. There we go. It was a pretty big save. Uh, you could definitely tell. Um, I was very nervous that time that I had no health kits and was very low, but. Um, you just see with good strategy and good gameplay what you can accomplish. Okay, hopping right into the second match, um, I'm gonna answer some questions from the previous video. I think uh, I like that format a lot and I'm gonna start doing that in every video. I'm gonna try and upload a gameplay every day and I'll answer questions and read comments and give shout outs from the video the previous day. So um, I'm just gonna kinda try and read these as best I can as, as I play. Uh, 
you know, no promises that I can read everything or get everything out before the end of the video. Um, but Yoshi80, shout out to you. Fear the best player of Zuba in the world. Um, not sure about that, but thank you, man. I appreciate that. A lot of people think that um, I'm just the, the number one player because of the fact that I have a lot of level 16s. And, um, you know, that might be true, but I generally try and play my best, uh, do my best, give my best, uh, just try and outplay my opponents all the time. Shout out to RL Turbo. Nice video. Continue doing awesome videos. Yeah, man, you got it. Doing one right now. Toxic Default says hi. The Seat 7. Shout out to you. Pop Lol, baby, YouTube. Do you care how much you get for a win? Uh... I don't care, you might have meant how much do you get for a win. Um, I just get three on all of my characters. I get most of them to 1500 trophies at the start of the season. And once your characters hit 1535, I think, um, you don't get more than three trophies per win. That's what you get past 1535. You could be 3000 trophies, 4000 trophies, you'll still get three for a win. Um, nice job, can we play sometime? Uh, unfortunately, I don't play with too many people, generally just people from my clan, um, sorry about that. Uh, but hey, if you're in the clan, I'm in Labyrinth. If you're in Labyrinth and, uh, I'm ever looking for a partner, you can join up. Hey Fear, do you have all your characters maxed out, says Alan Hamed. Uh, yes I do. I really enjoy the feeling of having everything maxed, I'm kind of a completionist in that sense. Um, shout out to Outcast. Do fuzzy with jungle shoes and coffee and just zoom through the entire map. Okay, yeah, um, when I do a fuzzy gameplay, I'll, I'll definitely do that for you, buddy. I will, uh, I will definitely put that build together. Now, usually I don't use jungle shoes on fuzzy. Um, sometimes I use coffee, but generally jungle shoes aren't ideal uh, for Fuzzy simply because of the stronger choices for him, like Cluster Bomb, uh, Molotov, Nitro Bow, Adrenaline Shot, you know, all those things. But definitely will show one game with uh, with Jungle Shoes and Coffee just for you. Okay, that's all the comments. Uh, I'm gonna read on that one. Uh, now I wanna talk about uh, this this late game here with, with Bruce. So you see I'm kind of getting kited by Fuzzy. Um, fuzzy hard counters Bruce, but uh, if you play the bushes well enough with the jungle shoes on Bruce, you can definitely um, kind of even out the playing field despite his his slow. You just kind of want to juke until you find a good opportunity like right there to attack. Um, Ollie's not an issue, even if he was level 16, you know, we just kind of head in there and, and smash. And uh, last guy is a Molly. Um, Molly and Bruce kind of go even with each other. For Molly, you really have to use your, your jump and dodge Bruce, make sure he can't get on top of you. But uh, yeah, Jungle Shoes kind of evens out the playing field and, and I definitely think they're one of the best items you can use on Bruce. Um, I know most people do that, but you know, just kind of explaining for people who don't know or, or people who want to hear that explanation, you know, why do you do this, why do you do that? not just see me doing something or see other people doing something and copy it. You know, it's good to understand why you're, you're doing certain things and maybe, you know, you're doing stuff that you could be avoiding or, or stuff that you might not want to be doing and you don't even know that. You know, you don't know what you don't know. Um, hopping right into this third game here, I'm going to give a little more commentary on the game. Um, so we're going to go and pick up this guard right here. Grab that health kit. We have another Bruce to contest, but we're a little ahead of him, so we don't have to worry about him picking up that health kit. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> a little laugh there. He definitely knew he was kind of screwed after I picked up that shotgun. Um, Buck, another very difficult opponent for Bruce. Buck and, and Duke and uh, Fuzzy were all difficult for Bruce. Everyone else, you, know, you just kind of play the bushes, but... Those guys, you know, you really gotta be careful. Now, this guy, you know, he's not terribly high level, so we don't have too much to worry about, but, you know, Buck can definitely dish out some serious damage on, on Bruce. He gets on top of him, he has his little cooldowns. As you saw in my Buck video yesterday, I did talk a little bit, I think, briefly about how easy it is to kill Bruce's on Buck. Let's see if we can grab this Nyx here. He is in the water, that's, that's very bad. 
We're gonna dash over here. We're gonna use our spear and grenade. Kind of combo with the shotgun. Got him. Couple guys fighting over here. That's another another big point. If you see two people fighting and um, you know they're not higher level than you or you, you're kind of the same level, they're getting hurt. You know, they're hurting each other, and that's great for you because you can capitalize on that. You can head in there and um, and mess both of their days up. Now, I think that Molly did kill whoever he was fighting, so um, the neutral was kind of reset there, so to speak. And that means that I needed to disengage like I did. Uh, when, when you're Bruce and there's a Molly like that just kind of sitting in a building, there's no way you're gonna be able to do anything. So just kind of sit back and find a better position as we're doing right now. We're gonna wait for a couple people to fight up there and we'll head in and see what's going on right now. Okay, so again, you know, nothing we can do there. Um, chasing that revolting death. Uh, we're gonna head to this bush over here, kind of get a central point, and that's why you see me clicking the map, the mini map, all the time. I'm really just making sure that my positioning is well is well thought out, and everything I'm doing is is making sense, you know, in a logical scale. How can I best position myself? Um, to make it easy for me to do what I want to do, and that's killing as many people as possible. Um, I don't really play for wins, you know, I don't put on snorkel or, or whatever. Uh, you know, I do win a lot, but um, I just like to play for kills because that's the funnest way I think this game can be played. Uh, but playing for wins is definitely a valid strategy, and I see a lot of people who do it. You know, you put your snorkel on, you just kind of play on the play against the fire, sit in the water, do whatever, and it'll get you trophies for sure. But I, I just find that so boring, especially, especially at such a high level. Uh, you, you know, you definitely want to use that strength to your advantage. Have a good time. Pop that shield there. Pick up his shield. Heal up. He's given us an upgrade to our grenade, which is nice. And the circle's pretty small at this point. Not a whole lot of places a Molly can go, which is good for us because um, you know I don't want to have to run around and chase him the whole time. We kind of got lucky with this bush here. We could just juke him until the fire closes in. We don't have to worry about too much. If I go after him, he's gonna come over here, but we'll just let him take fire damage and we'll, we'll finish him off in a second. So you can see. Um, you, you'd much rather take fire damage from his, his Molotov or just from the circle in general than take grenade damage. You know, it's going to be significantly easier to survive just doing this and dodging those grenades than, uh, than getting hit by them. And here we go. Pop him right here. So now he's taking major damage from the fire, and I think that's going to be hit for him. Good game, buddy. All right. We'll do one more, and... Uh, Again, you know, if you guys have any questions, anything you want to know, you want a shout out in a future video, just leave a comment and uh, I'll, uh, I'll read some in the next one. Tomorrow's video, I think we're gonna do, um, I'm not sure, I'm trying to go in alphabetical order, you know, for the characters and, and gameplays I'm doing right now. So yesterday was Buck, today was Bruce, you know, we're, we're still on the Bs. I think tomorrow's Duke. I don't think there's any characters starting with a C at the moment. No, there's not. Uh, yeah, tomorrow's Duke. So we're really just going with the tanks, you know. Um, tank videos because of the fact that we have uh, Buck, Bruce, Duke, you know, all names with letters that are early in the alphabet. But after that, um, we'll get into some more uh, glass cannon characters, some real DPS dealers. We got Finn and Fuzzy coming up, Larry. Lizzie, she's support, but uh, she's one of my favorites at the moment. There is another level 14 Duke. I want to deal with him as soon as possible. You saw me struggle with the high level Dukes in the other video, or the other game, rather. So he's hurting there. I expect him to stun here. Nothing we can do about it. Oh, he didn't have any health kits. Okay. Well, that is a huge relief. Nothing to worry about in the late game. And uh, coffee's done, so we're kind of heading to the mid game now. This is gonna be a really good ending circle for me. I'm, I'm really relieved that we're heading towards the jungle because as you can see, there's plenty of bushes for me to run around in. Um, make me really quick. Not a whole lot to worry about from anybody. I think this guy had the legendary, so we're gonna try and go get that. 
Ooh, he missed it. He missed the spear there. Sorry, bud. All right, we're gonna pick up the shield. We don't really want to be on the edge of the fire with Bruce. It's very important that you kind of sit in the center because um, as you see with Bruce, you know, you, you have to get on top of people to do your damage. So if you're in the center of the map, um, you can kind of attack anybody from any angle. But if you're on the edge, someone can run from one side to the other and you might not be able to catch up. And, and that can be really, really big problem for you if you're not uh, tanky enough. You can't deal with all that damage. You know, you'll just die. Pick up that fuzzy right there in the fire. I like to kill as many fuzzies as possible on, on these tanky characters because of his slow, you know, it makes it really hard and in the later game, uh, you know, towards the end game, if you run into a fuzzy with a legendary grenade, it's gonna be extremely tough for you to deal with. If you're a Bruce or, or Buck or Duke, that slow is brutal. A lot of people think, um, you know, you're level 16, so you just run around, you don't give a shit about anything. You know, it's just like, la di da look at me, I have a million health and a million damage. Um, huge exaggeration, by the way, but that's that's not true at all, you know? Um, a fuzzy with a level, a level 12, even a level 10 fuzzy with a legendary grenade played correctly. Um, not in this circle, because we have the bushes, you know, I can run around and, and, and catch up, and it's, uh, it's gonna be really hard for him to dodge. But like, if we're up in the top right, where all those, um, where there's no bushes and, and there's just that bunch of structures to dodge around. If we're up there, and there's a fuzzy with the legendary grenade, I'm probably dead, even if he's level 10. So it, it's not, you know, it's not what you think. It's not just, oh, you're level 16, all of a sudden you just win every game you play. If that was the case, I'd have a 7,000 win streak or whatever my wins are. Um, okay, well, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you learned something. Any questions, comments, you know, anything at all, let me know, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy hunting.